Thanks for joining me, everybody. We're going to start off. You're going to notice my head is cut off right away. We're doing lower body to start off, and then we'll sort of work our way up. Um, so starting off with our ankles, we're going to start off with some circles. Have your foot at a height that's comfortable for you. My foot's up here just for visibility kind of reasons. Um, hold on to something nice and solid and stable so that you don't fall over. And we're just going to do really lovely, glorious ankle circles here. Thinking about maximum range of motion as you go all the way around, drawing the biggest circle you can with your toes. Checking in with how your muscles and joints feel. And then reversing direction. I do love to be mindful when I'm moving my body. So I feel like how can you be truly respectful of your body if you aren't checking in with it and seeing how it's feeling? Let's switch to the other leg. Again, really glorious, big movement here. Mentally saying thank you to our feet. And going the other direction. Lovely. All right, both feet on the floor. You guys are going to look at my floor a little bit today. I am going to have my hands on something stable, and I'm going to do a little bit of a calf stretch. So left leg is back, right leg is forward. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend through my left ankle and knee and straighten. Just going back and forth at my own pace. I'm thinking again about deep range of motion. As far as is comfortable for me. If you would like to, after a few bend and straightens, you might want to move your foot further back. Keep the heel on the floor though. Lovely. Checking with the, with all your different little parts down there, right through the ankle, through the foot, through the knee, even all the way up through the back of the leg here. Seeing how your body feels. And then we're even going to go ahead and put a little more weight on your right leg as you lift the back of the heel up and stretch out the bottom of the foot. So now I'm bending through my toe joints, stretching out the bottom of my foot. Hopefully that's easy enough to see. Getting a lovely range of motion through your foot here, through all of those joints that occur in your foot. You've got a lot of bones in your feet. Nice. And then we'll just stretch out the top of your foot by placing the top of your foot on the ground and getting a little bit of motion through there. You might feel it in the front of your ankle as well. That's okay, just aim for good feelings. And we'll do the other side. So my left foot is planted, my left leg is bent, my right foot is going back now, and I'm going to bend and straighten just through the knee and ankle through my right leg. Being mindful and of course taking time to notice how the two sides feel different or the same. Some of us are more symmetrical than others. And then if you would like to move that right leg back a little bit further and see how that strikes you. Just a couple more repetitions here. Lovely. And then just like on the other side, we're gonna lift the heel up off the ground. Get a little bit of a stretch and some movement through the bottom of the foot. If it's fun for you, you can think about how your feet have taken you every place you've been, literally and metaphorically, right? And appreciating them. Sometimes moving your body is one of the best ways to appreciate it. We'll put the top of the foot, top of the toes on the ground now. 
and just stretch out, sort of coming into the stretch and then backing out slightly. If it feels particularly good and you want to hang out there for a few seconds, you can, right? Just whatever is <laughs> choosing your own adventure, whatever feels right to you. Lovely. All right, we can plant both of our feet. Come back up. We're standing now and we're going to do some some knee circles. So I have my knee coming up here. I'll stand to the side so it's a little easier to see. And I'm going to draw a circle with my foot to get a little bit of motion through my knee. And we'll reverse direction. As you're doing this, thinking again about maximum range of motion. So if I am here and I can lift my foot up a little higher, go for it. Lovely, we'll switch sides. Drawing that circle again with your foot. Again, a little motion through your knee. And reverse direction. Take time to notice if your knees are crunchy or if they're comfortable and smooth. And of course, if your crunchiness hurts, getting that addressed. We'll do some hip circles as well. So standing here, I'm gonna bring my knee up all the way up to the side and down. As I do this, thinking about stability in my core, stability through my leg, holding on to something, thinking even about the core strength that it takes to move my leg around. And we'll go to the other side. If your balance isn't good and you aren't comfortable here, you can also do this one laying flat on your back. Really, most of the things that I'm doing and I'm standing straight up, you could do flat on your back if that is more comfortable and safer for you. All right, so now you guys know that I do love a good um, cat cow for a little bit of mobility through your spine. We're gonna do a little variation on that today. So instead of arching and rounding, going to draw a gigantic circle with my belly button. So we're still rounding and we're still arching, but we're bringing a little bit of lateral movement side to side into it as well. So starting off here, I'm going to bring my belly button up as high as it'll go, out to the right as far as it will go, down to the bottom, over to the left, and back up. So hands on imaginary table, Hopefully you guys can see this um, a little bit better. And I'm rounding and I'm um, <laughs> laterally flexing. So I've got a side bend and then I'm arching through my back and then I've got a bend through the other side. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's reverse direction. And come on out of it. We'll stand up all the way next. And we're gonna reach up all the way with our right arm and reach down your back. Hold onto the right elbow with the left hand and help yourself into this range of motion just a little bit more. Going as deep as feels comfortable for you. And we'll hold it for a couple of breaths. Thinking about standing up really nice and tall, getting a little bit taller every time you inhale.
and reaching up with both hands and now I'll reach down my back with my left arm hold on to my left elbow with my right hand help myself into this range of motion a little bit more and we'll take a couple of breaths here Lovely. Reaching up one more time. We'll reach all the way out next and then reach all the way down. Seeing if you can reach a little bit further for the floor and coming out of it. We're going to end with a little bit of an open and close motion. So when I open, I'm going to open with goalpost arms and then open further with my hands coming straight out to the side, and then close by interlacing fingers and pushing them forward. So from the side, it'll look like open goalpost arms, open straight out to the side, interlace, and push your hands forward, the palms out, and really rounding through the back. So you can feel we've got a little bit of an arch and a little bit of a round going on here. Bringing more of our body into that open, close motion that we'll use a lot of times with cat-cow. Okay, long explanation, easy exercise. <laughs> all right, all the way open, all the way out, and round. And match this with your own breath. Incorporate it in a way that feels good for your body. Going at your own pace. Hopefully this feels really, really great for your body. If you want to go ahead and incorporate the head and neck into it. So I'm straight up and down here with goalpost arms. As my arms come out to the side and I reach my thumbs back behind me, I reach my chin up towards the ceiling. And then as I interlace hands, push palms away from me and round through the back, I'm tucking my chin, dropping my head. Two more here. And bring your arms down to the side, roll out your shoulders, take a really nice deep breath, thinking about refreshing yourself with air, letting everything go as you exhale, and you are ready for the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me.